Hi there, my name is Jürgen Holland, and this is a follow-up tutorial on the Fabless fabrics. And I have some freebies for you to download. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create your object IDs only using Photoshop. This will not work for every situation. Be aware of that. I got this herringbone fabric. It's a typical tweedish type of uh, look. And I probably found the texture on the internet and I made it seamless for you. And first off, we need to rise the contrast. I want lighter strings of fabric to be uh, white and the darker strings of fabric to be black. And of course, this has a lot of contrast and that makes it really easy to create the object ID. So let's get started. Just hit Command L to get the levels up and rise the levels and decrease the clamp the whole uh, image. Something like this. And to have some more interest and of course dynamic in the uh, map itself, I have this dust uh, map I have made my own. You can find a lot of those maps on the internet. Uh, so just go and find some. And then and this is of course also seamless so, and fitting the area well. So if I now just hit the difference, I got some strings that are on the black area and some all the noise on the white area and then I need to clamp this one more time using the threshold and find a good threshold that works for me and then I add the gradient map and I've already set up a gradient map, map from green to red and I think in this case I just want to switch these two handles and OK. And then we have created our object map. So first off, we just need to clamp the image and find a, a good way to get the details from the fabric. And then I include noise just to mix it up and not make it too even and have some dynamics. And then we are good to go. I have created uh, three different fabrics for you. It's a Kananico. It's a an, um, fabric with some dots in it. And I have the herringbone that I just showed you. And then I have also a seesaw. So you can download this over at my site. You can click the link on the screen here or just go to the description. So that's all. Have a good one and goodbye.